Are you ready for some laughs and a trip down memory lane? Well, get ready to hop on the Pep Guardiola time machine because we're going back to the early days of his reign at Barcelona. That's right, we're talking about Pep's first 10 signings at the Catalan club and where they are now. But before that, I'm here to tell you about today's sponsor, Factor 75. Factor menus are updated weekly to include an earth-shattering 27-plus meal. Factor delivers fresh, ready-made meals to your doorstep, and since there's no prep, there's no mess, which allows you to be able to fill the rest of your day with the things that you love. There's also plenty of accommodations for different dieting options, such as vegan, vegetarian, calorie smart, and keto. And I mean, with those 27 plus meal options per week, there's got to be something for you there. Use my link or go to factor75.com and use code FACTORSE33325 for 50% off your first box. I'd like to thank Factor75 for sponsoring this video, and now let's get right back into it. Number 1. Dani Alves Back in 2008, when Pep Guardiola took over the reins at Barcelona, one of his first seven signings was the one and only Dani Alves. Wowza, can you believe it? Spending a whopping £32 million on a defender in 2008 was quite a gamble, but it sure paid off for Barcelona when they signed Dani Alves. The Brazilian was an absolute beast in his eight-year stint with the club, racking up a whopping 391 appearances. But like all good things, it had to come to an end, and Alves left for Juventus in 2016. After his brief Italian adventure, Alves then jetted off to Paris Saint-Germain, living the high life in the City of Light. His shenanigans didn't stop there as he went to Sao Paulo, followed by a brief return to Camp Nou on a short-term deal in November 2021. But the Brazilian wasn't done yet. In a surprising move, Alves decided to head across the pond and join the Mexican top division club Puma's UNAM on a free transfer. Who knew he was such a fan of spicy tacos and margaritas? However, Alves has now been dismissed from the club due to a sexual assault allegation. Talk about a roller coaster career. Number 2. Alexander Hleb We all make mistakes, and Guardiola's was certainly 15.30 million Alexander Hleb. The Belarusian midfielder failed to impress during his one season at Barcelona, playing 36 times but failing to score a single goal. I mean, even the goalkeeper scores sometimes, Hleb. After his lackluster performance at Barca, Hleb spent the next few years bouncing around on loan like a lost ball. And just when we thought he couldn't possibly fall any further, he signed with Krylia Sovetov, which is probably Russian for last stop before retirement home. But wait, there's more. Hleb had not one, not two, but three more clubs in his illustrious career before hanging up his boots. He played for FK Bait Borisov, Krylia Sovetov, Samara, and Islok Minsk Rai on, all of which sound like made-up names for fictional football teams. All in all, Hleb's journey after Barcelona was like a trip through the bargain bin at a garage sale. Not much to write home about. Number 3. Martin Caceres The Uruguayan defender was another of Guardiola's signings who failed to live up to the hype. The Uruguayan defender joined Barca in 2008 for a fee of £15 million, but injuries and lack of form limited his impact at the club. Caceres played just 10 times for Barca in his one season at the club, which works out to a cool £1.2 million per appearance. Not a bad payday for a few minutes on the field. After his forgettable stint at Barca, Caceres went on to play for a host of clubs across Europe, including Sevilla, Juventus and Lazio. It seems like the guy was on a European tour, only he wasn't performing for screaming fans, just football coaches trying to give him some playing time. But the real kicker came in 2019 when Caceres was signed by, wait for it, Juventus. That's right, the same club that he played for years ago. It's like going back to your ex for a second chance, only to find out that they're just not that into you anymore. Ouch! Number 4. Seydou Keita Keita was a good servant for the club. Signed for £12.6 million from Sevilla, Keita would spend four successful seasons at Barcelona before departing for Chinese outfit Dalian Airbin. He was a vital cog in Pep's Barcelona machine, winning 14 titles and scoring 22 goals in four seasons. But now he's retired and enjoys spending his time watching TV and drinking tea. In fact, rumour has it that he's watched every episode of Friends at least 10 times. Number 5. 
Enrique. Ah, uh, young Enrique. Signed by Guardiola in 2008 at just 17 years old. It was a sign-in that promised so much potential, but he would never make an appearance for the first team. Enrique spent his time at Barca being loaned out to Leverkusen, racing Santander and Palmeiras, leaving fans wondering if they'd ever get to see him in action. After his loan stints, Enrique left Spain in 2012, presumably with a heavy heart and a sense of unfulfilled promise. He played for big clubs like Napoli, but well, honestly, Pep, what were you thinking when you signed him? His current whereabouts are unknown. Number 6. Gerard Piquet Perhaps the best signing of Guardiola's Barcelona era, and that too was for just £5 million. Piquet failed to make a telling impact at Manchester United, but Guardiola saw enough potential in him to bring him to Barcelona. Stop. United may have won some trophies after letting Piquet go, but they also lost the chance to have a defender who can outperform their own strikers in scoring goals. But jokes aside, he was phenomenal at Barcelona. Not just three Champions League and eight La Ligas, he also won seven Copa del Reyes, six Spanish Super Cups and three European Super Cups. He's now retired from professional football, but he has started his own Spanish seven-a-side football league, which is very exciting to watch. He's also trying his hands at tech entrepreneurship, working on a new app that will revolutionize the way we order pizza. Yeah, you never know. Apart from that, you might already know about PK's public breakup with pop star Shakira. It looks like they've both moved on and now have other endeavors. Number 7. Jose Manuel Pinto Well, 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 looks like Guardiola had no idea that he was signing a multi-talented boy, that too as a free agent. Jose Manuel Pinto wasn't just a goalkeeper, but a man of many talents. He may have spent most of his time at Barca as a backup to Victor Valdez, but little did we know that he was secretly honing his skills as a musician. After retiring from football in 2014, Pinto went on to make a name for himself in the music industry, even getting his music featured in the Fast and Furious 8 movie movie. Who knew the man with the golden gloves also had a golden voice too? Number 8. Maxwell Oh boy, do I have a story for you. Back in 2009, Pep Guardiola was on the hunt for a new left back for Barcelona, and he had his sights set on Maxwell. He was signed for a cool £3.5 million, which might not sound like much in today's football world, but back then, it was a pretty penny. Maxwell's time at Barca was pretty successful. He was never the star of the show, but he was a solid player who could always be counted on to do his job. He played a key role in helping the club win the treble in the 2008-2009 season and went on to win three La Liga titles, two Copa del Reyes and a Champions League during his four-year stint with the club. But as all good things must come to an end, Maxwell eventually left Barca for PSG in 2012. And let me tell you, he didn't exactly set the world on fire over in Paris. So, was his signing successful? I'd say it was a bit of a mixed bag, but hey, at least he'll always have that treble to look back on. Currently, he's the assistant sporting director at PSG. Number 9. Ibrahimovic When Pep signed Ibrahimovic for £59 million, alarm bells started ringing for Barca's European opponents. But Ibrahimovic's stint at Barcelona was like a bad blind date. He was a misfit from the start. They couldn't communicate and it ended up with hurt feelings and awkward silence. Ibrahimovic revealed that he felt like a misfit in the club with no adrenaline rush as Pep used to play Messi in his position. Since then, Zlatan has played for many big European giants, including United, PSG and AC Milan. I heard he's now gone to Milan for the third time. The guy just can't get enough of that Milanese pizza and espresso, can he? And the cherry on top is that he even won the league last year. It's shocking to know that many of his then younger Barca teammates have retired, but he is still there. Ibrahimovic's football career has outlasted most of his former team's trophy cabinets, and that's for sure. Number 10. Kerrison. For Christ's sake, what were you thinking, Pep? And that too for £12 million. He is billed by many fans as the worst Brazilian to ever play for Barcelona. The sudden rise and agonizing fall of Kerrison is a story of false promises, careless clubs and unadulterated greed. To put it bluntly, Kerrison was stitched up worse than Dr. Frankenstein's monster. He didn't do very well and he ended up playing for lots of different clubs on loan. 
His name was chosen by his dad as a tribute to two famous musicians, Keith Richards and Jim Morrison. He stopped playing professional football and now plays in the United Premier Soccer League in the US for Palm Beach Stars. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notification so that you never miss out on new content. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye!